Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is New Year's Eve weekend and Troy and I are at a rustic little cabin that our friends were so kind to loan to us. It's in the middle of the woods, it's raining right now, it's icy, cold outside, so it's perfect, perfect, perfect weather to be stuck at a little cabin. And there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cell phone service, so it's just the two of us. We're having such a relaxing time. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little tiny tour of the cabin. Two minutes in, Troy already has a fire built and he's breathing the ultimate relaxer right here. So here's a kitchen and this is where we're sleeping. And there's like a loft that goes upstairs. Marco. And there's like a chill area up here. A little loft, I think you can sleep up here too. That's basically it. They were so sweet to leave us sparkling grape juice to bring in the new year and dark chocolate truffles, my absolute favorite. Thank you so much, Caroline. That's so sweet of you. So tonight for dinner, we are having flour tortilla fish tacos. So it's one of our favorite things to eat. I have onions and cilantro here. Um, the onions, if you soak them in hot water, it really takes out some of that potent onion taste. Um, cabbage, lime, I made like this crema. Um, I'm really missing an avocado. Like I normally would put an avocado like on the side, but also like in my crema. I love having avocado in there. Um, have my fish fry, have my tortillas. And yeah, it's gonna be good. I don't have a recipe, so season the meat. Just season the fish really, really well. Add some cabbage. You can chop up the meat too if you like. Add cream, which I did already which is like it's like sour cream mayonnaise paprika and you just like blend it and then I have like cilantro and um, cilantro lime black pepper salt onions and definitely hot sauce super simple little breakfast. I bought these at Aldi. Never had them before. And yeah, I hope they're good. They're like mini little mini quiches. They're like spinach, bacon, and ham. Three cheese. Anyway, they're really cute. I hope they're good. We brought this show to watch from home. It's called The Chosen. It's called The Lord of Jesus. And it is so really, it's just really, really good. I highly recommend it. So when I heard there was gonna be no Wi-Fi or cell phone service here, I just got really excited because I'm behind in my journal and I just couldn't wait to like write and read. I just brought stacks of magazines that I never make the time to go through, you know? And my favorite books that I've been wanting to read and journals and planners and my devotional, all kinds of stuff. Like I was just like, ah, oh, three days of just doing nothing but reading and journaling. And I don't know if you're like me and you like to journal, but for me journaling is just, it's just, it's where I just process my thoughts and uh, I'm not like a writer. I, I'm definitely not a, like an eloquent writer. My English isn't even that great, but for me, it's just it's just how I make sense of things. And I don't know, I just find it, I just find it really, really good for myself to do. And one thing I like to do at the end of every year, and it's pretty cool that this cabin ends up being New Year's Eve, it's just perfect timing, is to just reflect on the year that you just had. What were the good things of your year? Write down all the good things about 2020. There are some good things. What are the things that were really hard, like really, really challenging or hard about 2020? Probably could have a couple pages of <laughs> the crazy stuff that happened in 2020. I think, it, especially this year, if you never journaled before, maybe do it this year, or maybe write about 2020, because this is gonna, this is a year to go down in history books, you guys. So just maybe sit down and write about this crazy year, just bullet points. I think you'd find that so incredibly interesting 30 years from now. Just some ideas for you for reflecting on the year and like knowing what to ask yourself is one of the quick things could be, what is something you did this year that you will remember the rest of your life? Another one could be, what worked well this year that you're grateful for? What were the challenges of this year? What were some of your most meaningful moments? Where did you spend your time and energy the most? What were your biggest time wasters this year? Did you spend your money wisely? Where could you improve on your money habits for the coming year? What concept or scripture could you say shaped your year? What have you been procrastinating on and need to complete? I love to write those down. It's, it's just really good to just look through and you're like, God has been so faithful this year. Even though it's, it was, it was, 
probably a really, really hard year for a, a lot of people. There is still good things about this year if we look. And then looking forward to 2021, Troy and I always go on a end of the year date and I look forward to it so much because we just get to sit down and this cabin ended up being perfect timing because it's like the end of the year or the beginning of a new year and we get to talk about what are our plans and dreams for the coming year? Where do we wanna spend more of our time? Who do we wanna make memories with? How do we wanna spend our money this year? We talk about our budget, finances, we, t we plan like the coming year. You can't just plan every single year. If 2020 taught you anything, is that you have to be flexible with your year. But I just think it's good to have a general idea of what you wanna do with the year. And so you don't just let your time just go by and it's just, you just waste. So just make some priorities for the year. Really, really fun to just dream together, set goals, talk about things that were hard in the last year, what we could do in our marriage that would help us both. Anyway, that got really long-winded, I'm sorry, but I'm hoping that that gave you something to think about, and yeah. Hey, so it's Saturday night. We're making ourselves a little snack, um, late night ceviche. It's a Belizean appetizer that is one of Troy's favorite things to eat. And so, yeah, it's like shrimp ceviche. Basically, it's like a um, fresh salsa. We have like tomatoes, onions, habanero, uh, lots of cilantro, lime, and lots of salt and pepper. It's really, really good. I love it. And then we eat it with the chips. You definitely want to pick out the firmest tomatoes to make ceviche. Like you don't want big mushy ones like these are. But Troy is over there peeling the shrimp. You want to make sure you add a lots and lots of lime and habanero, salt and pepper. You just need it's it's just it's a very flavorful dish. So you you want to add lots and lots of salt and pepper too. We are packing up and we're ready to head out of here. It's been a really really fun weekend. Sure, babe. Hi. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you want to see more of these tiny little um, weekend away vlogs or whatever. It's very basic, very unprofessional. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.